What up, gang? What's your name? What's your number? What's your favorite song? You think what I'm thinking? We ain't gonna be in this for too long. Woo! Good little jam. I've been playing that um, on the Apple Music. Uh, Matt here, country song teacher, by the way. On that Apple uh, Apple Music on the A list. Um, if you got Apple Music, make sure you get that the A list country. Go to genres, um, country, and the A list. I've been I always jam out when doing while I'm working on that stuff. One of the songs they had is making me want to Jimmy Allen. That's a jam. I'm going to use um, four chords. Go figure. Oh, by the way, I got the capo on the sixth fret. If you want to play it just like he does. Um, so the the verses. So again, how, if you're familiar, how I, I lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret. So it would be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, eighth, ninth fret, obviously on this one, but relative to the capo. Lock in two bottom strings, fourth and fifth. All six is your G. Slide down to fourth and fifth. Your C. So G to C. You can call it a C at nine, I call it a C, whatever. D, keep the bottom two locked, press that third string. Look how easy. G, C, D. If you're starting out, you might even want to do down strums. Long legs, cut off jeans, pull me in like a magnet. Your eyes locked on me. Do right then I had to have you. Right there in the middle of the floor, a hole in the wall on a back street. I knew I had to get close to you. So it's right there, you see there, you're just going G, C. I mean D back to G for the uh, <coughs> excuse me the chorus go play E minor again keep the bottom two locked I press the fifth and fourth string together so I go E minor C D G all the time what's your name what's your number what's your favorite song if you think what I'm On that last little part, you're keeping that steady E minor, C, D, G. You hang on that D. Might be too soon. Say I love you. But you're gonna make me want. And then on two, I do. But you're gonna make me want to. G, C, D, G. So you do the chords like the verse. G, Awesome old song play, man. Jimmy Allen, of course, he has a... What, what was his big famous one? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Who's my editor? Editor. What's the Jimmy Allen song? Lighting and makeup? Any of y'all know the lighting? Production team. Y'all know the light... No. Um, no. Okay, none of my staff on board here knows. But you know the other Jimmy Allen song. Um, you know when you're like playing or singing one song, you can't think of the other one? Anyway, so guys... People are gonna say, what's the strumming pattern? So start out. Long legs cut off. I start out wrong key. Long legs cut off jeans. Put me up like a magnet. Y'all do that struggle sometimes getting on the right key. Long legs cut off jeans. Put me up like a magnet. So two G's, two C's, two D's, two G's, and start right over. Your eyes locked on me. Your eyes had a heavy. Right there in the middle of the floor, over in the wall on the back street. I knew I had to get close to you. What's your name? What's your name? What's your favorite song? You think what I'm thinking? We're gonna be in this spot too long. We'll be sticking on our teeth. Still kisses and playing in the dark. Well, you might be too soon. Say I love you. ask me all the time about little tricks I do. 
Uh, on that D chord, type in Matt McCoy, spice up the D chord. I did a video on that. But another great trick I always say with a G chord, start out playing it without that first finger. It's called a hammer-on. Hear that little subtle difference? And C chord the same way. Well, you, you, you play it without playing that four string, then you hammer-on. That's a great little hammer on and stop. You get the point there. Anyway, I've had like a thousand requests. Dude, when you go play Beer Never Broke My Heart, Luke Combs. People have asked me a thousand times, too, when you go to teach drink a beer, Luke, Luke, um, uh, Luke Bryan. And for whatever reason, um, you know, I'm involved with, with, with mission boards with, uh, my, with, uh, on, for churches and different things. And like, it's tough for me. I teach, I teach a lot of country music songs that even that have talk about drinking and all that stuff, but. It's it's tough for me to teach a song with beer in the title. I I don't mean to sound like self righteous. It's just it's tough on me, like because I, I know I, I have a big influence and God keeps on making my influence bigger and bigger, and I want to support a message of a of Christ and that kind of thing. And I'm I'm, I'm I've actually never drank in my life. I'm really against alcohol. Um, so I mean, if you do it again, that, that's between you and God. That, I'm not saying the Bible talks about drunk not alcohol is a sin. Drunkenness. There's a big difference. Drunkenness is a sin. It's not wrong to drink alcohol. I don't think, like I said, I don't, but I don't think it's wrong. I think to be drunk, the Bible says, is wrong. But anyway, um, but when a song has beer in the title, it's hard for me to teach that. But we'll see. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, maybe I'll replace it with Pepsi or Coke, right? All right, guys, check out countrysongteacher.com. And uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and let me know what song we teach next. I'll do my best. Alligator says, ah, Mickey. I got so many here. About a month away because my third bear. Let's go.